Hello, welcome to another episode of Paddy Ponders. And today, Paddy should be pondering some very nice toys. Finally, getting to do uh, a video again. Uh, Simon was here today and we did a couple of videos. And I think I'm back in the swing of things now. Swing, he says. All right, we are going to look at some custom toys. And these were lovingly made by my good friend Sean. And Sean is very gifted at making whoa toys weather up. So we are going to look at Optimus Prime, Ultra Magnus, not an Optimus Prime, is it Simon? And Rodimus Prime. So we're going to start with Optimus. So this is an MP44KO mold, as you can probably see from the legs. Mm -hmm. And he is absolutely stunning. Let's go down the guy in there. So, Sean basically just dirties them up and makes them look like they are weathered, like they've been battle damaged, which is uh, one of my favorite types of Customization. I love them. There he is, all battered and torn, etc. I'm hoping I'm going to have some before images. I did take some if I've kept them or not. I just don't know. But look at that. Look at that shoulder. He's been in a battle. And he's been all sorts of fighting going on. He's been fighting Megatron no matter the cost. Look at that. It's been a hard day's work there for. Old Optimus, and he's even got a little bit of damage in there as well. Really is a fantastic uh, custom and so unique. Sean, thank you so much, dude. It's brilliant. And if you look up here, he's even got some damage in that there. Look at that. Uh, I will take some photographs and put them up at the end of the video. Oh. He's also mm. assisted with the tolerance of this guy because he's a lot stronger now than he was. So yeah, really, really cool. Really, really cool. Love him, including the backpack, the famous backpack. Right, let's have a look at Ultra Magnus. There's Ultra Magnus, or White Prime, whatever you want to call him. Uh, I always go with Ultra Magnus, and he looks absolutely stupendous, doesn't he? Really battle worn, all the damage up there, and I just I love these hands and arms. It's to the damage that he's had. He has been in a battle of battles. He no longer even looks white. It's an off white. It's been an off day, and he's had enough of everything. It's a bit like me come Thursday morning at work and I'm just thinking no more thank you very much um, nice scratch marks at the back there I love it I just love this toy because when I got the chaos uh, of these colors they were quite dull if I'm honest uh, and I wasn't overly impressed with them so I'm going to ask Sean to do some more damage to a couple more um, look at the foot on this look at look at the foot look Look at that. Isn't it just amazing? Isn't it? <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, God, this is a brilliant toy. Really is. Uh, love him, love him, love him to bits. So, there you go. There's Optimus and Ultra Magnus after a bad day in the office. Look at that. There they go. Right, so we put them down there. And we shall go to Carry Rodimus Prime, who is my favourite Rodimus. I love this mould, absolutely love it. And this is the mould I was speaking to Sean about and saying, oh God, I wish I had a, I wish I had um, a damaged version of this. Sean said, well, let me do it and then before you know it, I've got him and he is all kinds of awesome. There he is, there he is and I'm not sure, honestly, if the 
lighting in here is giving you the best view of it and how good he looks now. Um, so what I might do is just take quite a few photographs at the end and then you can see just how good he is there. But look at that. Absolutely fantastic work, Sean. Bravo, dude. Bravo. So, uh, obviously, today's flop salute goes to you, Sean. We'll give you your flop salute. Here we go. For you, buddy. Thank you so much, dude. Um, it's gorgeous. It really is. Uh, and just at the inner there, hopefully, can you see that? No, maybe not. And we now, so you can see the difference between afterwards and just before. So the level of red, so the amount of work he's done on this guy to get him looking battle weary is is phenomenal, really. And look at the back of that. I really just guys, unbelievable, brilliant. So just was just a quick video. Just to show you Sean's excellent work and get myself back in the video game slowly but surely. We still haven't found Andy, he's somewhere in the house. Um, uh, my house renovations are finished, bar my hallway, which is fine, I can, I can work on that later. And I've got um, PJ coming to help me put my cabinets back up, we're just going to decide where they're going to go and if I'm going to deck out the top room in the cabinet or not yet, I haven't decided that yet. Um, and then we'll be close to be able to do a Casa del Paddy video. I know it's been a while, I've been moved back in here almost a year now and it's been hard work with the renovations and everything and I've not really had my toys available, uh, hiding the boxes etc and I have to admit it's been a big it's been a big thing for me. Um, it certainly uh, has triggered my anxiety, I think, if I'm being honest. And toys are a great blessing to me. They help me massively with my anxiety conditions. And I'm sure some of you guys and girls out there are the same. So, with that in mind, Sean, thank you so much, dude. Um, I think Carrie's my favourite. I think he's my favourite. I really do. Um, right, well, we'll put some photographs up. Uh, courtesy of the Magic Simon and we shall be back really soon to look at more toys. Thank you very much guys that's me away, we'll see you soon bye bye Fingers on plastic <laughs>